All right, what's going on, everybody? Gaby Card Stacks here. Got a decent stack of mail. Uh, I was out of town for like two days, and this is everything that was waiting for me. So let's run through it. Let's talk about it. Let's see what we learned today. All right, first one up, Darius Taylor. This is like a silver wave of sorts, seven of seven. Been picking up his stuff. I've mentioned, and you've seen a lot of leaf metal football on the recent videos. I really like the product. It's really a good checklist that has a lot of offensive players. I watched a video on YouTube with like one of the product managers and they were saying, hey, we wanted quarterbacks, offensive players. People don't really like defensive players. Um, it's, it's a really good checklist that they were pretty intentional with. So I appreciate that. Darius Taylor, I think he'll be one of the best running backs in the country next year. Only played in like five or six games, had like 800 yards. I think he's kind of the next guy up, had a great bowl game. I'm blanking on, on who they played, but had over 200 yards or pretty close to it. So Darius Taylor, a guy that I'll be buying into unlicensed. I don't really care, but I do like Darius Taylor as an option for next year. And he'll be going into his sophomore year. He did all that as a true freshman. All right, got a nice little note here. Love the YouTube channel. Keep up the good work of bringing college football collecting to the people. Very knowledgeable information you give. Here's a little Safi, Ricky White for your collection, Wolfpack Collectibles. Awesome. Well, thank you. So it looks like I bought a Brennan Soresby auto, Purple Crystals, What? Is, and, and here's a Sapphire, Ricky White. One of my favorite guys in the product, the leading receiver, leading returning receiver. He had like 1,406 yards last year. Uh, freshman from Cincinnati. So that's this is actually a pretty solid um, way to, I guess, label at least, or know what you have when it comes to leaf metal football. So Purple Crystals, purple ice, what is the number? Dude, three of six. Soresby was at Indiana, um, and then he just transferred to Cincinnati. Um, I think he could be a solid option. Cincinnati's not going to be very good, but I think that Soresby, he's got some upside. So, I don't know. He's, he's a young guy. He's got plenty of time. Who knows if he transfers another time, um, just with the craziness of the portal. But uh, Soresby, just a guy that I'll prospect, I guess. I think the upside is there. I think the prices are uh, affordable and it makes sense. So he'll kind of be on my watch list, I guess. All right, next one up, Caden Salter Steel. These are to like 35, 75. These are probably the highest numbered leaf autos that you're going to find. This had to have been pretty cheap. I can't imagine paying more than, let's see, I'll guess, no more than 836. We'll see what I paid. I'll throw the screenshot up. But uh, I sold the one of one. It was like a gold cracked ice. I think of this steel, whatever, for like 70 bucks, 80 bucks, 90, somewhere up there. It was, it was pretty high, especially for a one of one leaf. There's just so many out there that, you know, sometimes there's not so much of a premium. All right, here's a cool PC one. Sean Marion, orange, tops chrome. What are these number two? 199. I've always liked the orange tops chrome. I'm not a huge, uh, what is this? This is horizontal. I'm not a huge horizontal card guy, but I do enjoy color matches. So uh, Sean Marion, again, not one of my favorite. Is that Rudy Gay in the back? Rudy Gay was one of my favorite players in like 2K, like Rudy Gay, Zach Randolph, Pau Gasol, Mike Conley, uh, OJ Mayo, like that era. That was like my favorite team. Uh, honestly, back in, I don't know, what is that, 2012-ish? I was in high school, I feel like. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've just been buying some of this older stuff. I'm not a huge Suns guy, but more of kind of the childhood memory. I think maybe because of my son now. I mean, he's only 10 months old. But I feel like I want to throw stuff in a binder and be like, hey, son, this is like who I watched. And this is what I enjoyed when I grew up. So I don't know, maybe, uh, you know, as he gets older and can have favorite players and such, um, and if he enjoys cards or, you know, gets into that eventually, you know, he'll have uh, something that uh, he can reminisce on and collect and all of that. Okay, Kyron Lacey, been buying a lot of him, probably too much at this point, especially just for a Sage auto, but could be wide receiver 1.5-ish for LSU. His autos have gone down in price before. I thought it was like an instant buy it now at like five or six bucks. Now, meh, uh, you can probably find them around there, like the eight to ten dollar range so we'll see uh a lot of people are high on garrett nussmeyer i've seen him on you know all right more darius taylor this is just a silver of sorts nine of ten so yeah and just prospecting i think he'll be uh you know able to pop off in in a big game or maybe not even just a big game but have a big game and i think that certainly helps you saw like ray davis last year had like 200 yards against i don't even remember 
um, and I sold a lot of his stuff. So running backs who can pop in one game, definitely worth a shot. All right, this is from my good friends over at DC Sports 87. Probably the best consigner in my opinion, or at least to buy from. Uh, I have never had an issue with them and I just, I trust them the most with combined shipping. It helps a ton and I've had nothing but great experiences with them. Uh, if there were like a Spotify wrapped on eBay to see who you spend the most money with, definitely DC Sports 87. So this I think was close to like 80-ish dollars or so. Uh, so let's get right to it. Spencer Rattler, green. So I had mentioned this in one of my sales videos. Uh, I'm I was okay letting go of my other one. This one I bought for 42. Someone came up and offered for 101 and decided to accept the offer because that's gonna help the new comp now. Um, that, that person has since asked to return it. They said there was noticeable damage on the card and this is not matching the description. Uh, womp womp. So I'm gonna get that card graded just because I don't even think it's that bad. So now I'll have two copies of this card and I do have one on Com C. Spencer Rattler, been buying him. Uh, I just think that uh, he's got a lot of upside. So we'll see. I think it's a good spot for him in New Orleans. Uh, KJ Bolden. So he is uh, confirmed out of Buford. I looked it up. I, I had taken a shot just because he was from Atlanta or Georgia and the green and gold uh, had some Buford vibes to him. But steel, 9 of 49. So not a super high numbered or low numbered. But I think there's only like one or two bucks. And he's a top 15 player in the country, number one safety in the country, going to Georgia. He'll be behind Malachi Starks, but I imagine he's going to be kind of a uh, Caleb Downs type guy uh, in the future. Miller Moss, been buying a ton of him, just buying into more of the system of Lincoln Riley. So I like it. Miller Moss, what is that, number two to 20. Uh, been scooping up a ton of him. Michael Williams, I have been, I think I got this for like six bucks. I've been getting so many offers on my Michael Williams on Com C on eBay, so I just decided I've got more listed. I've got them all listed for twenty, uh, and I got it for six, so I think it's a nice little flip opportunity there. Jack Sawyer, he's been mocked in some first rounds. I'm not personally super high on him, but a Gold Sapphire, Ohio State. I don't think you can go wrong uh, on that one. I think that was like eight bucks, maybe. I think I paid a little bit higher. His stuff doesn't sell super well, but. If he is that good, if he's being mocked, um, you know, that high, I think uh, it'll jump. Brady Cook, I probably overpaid on this, honestly, this and the Will Johnson. I think it was just more of a, uh, I'm just going to stock up and, you know, take advantage of free shipping at this point. But I probably paid like 6 or $7 for the two of these. I don't know. Brady Cook, Will, Will Johnson, probably a top five pick. Jawar Jordan, one of my favorite guys in the product. He is local to me. He's from Hamilton High School in Chandler, one of the best programs in the state. Uh, where did he go? He got drafted by uh, Houston. Maybe Houston? Uh, I don't remember. Hmm. I'm going to guess Houston, but we'll see. Um, I like him, though. All right, here's another prospect. Quinton Joyner, USC running back. Uh, pretty solid job on the photo, considering no licensing. You're just missing the Trojan there. Three of four on the fire, crystal, fire, ice. Uh, parallel here. Again, just prospecting on this one. Uh, they brought in Woody Marks, uh, Jaquavius Marks from Mississippi State. Very similar to Marshawn Lloyd, I would say, but Joyner, people really like him, his upside. Uh, we'll see. I think this was a couple bucks. His stuff is kind of pricey, though. I, I kind of stole that one at auctions, I would say, you know, a couple bucks under comps. Um, just somebody that I'm watching. All right, more prospecting Leaf Metal. AJ, or Ali, J Al... Ali Jennings, Virginia Tech, eight of 10. He was hurt all of last year, basically. And he was from, he's, he's been kind of in the Virginia area. I think he started at like Marshall, West Virginia, or West Virginia, then went to Marshall, then Virginia Tech. Um, been productive. Uh, so kind of buying the rebound here, buying the Virginia Tech, Kyron Drones, that type of hype, so. All right, and this was a cheap little lot uh, that I picked up, or I guess they were all individual, but I just bought them all from the same seller because I forgot what I was looking for. Maybe the Eli Holstein, I, I honest, oh no, it was the KJ Jefferson. I was looking at Reds and this was like six or seven bucks, KJ Jefferson, UCF getting a ton of hype in the portal. They did pick up a lot of good pieces. I'm not necessarily super high on them. I think the Big 12 is just way too deep, but that's just my personal opinion, but this was like eight bucks. I think it's something easy you list for $19.99 and eventually sell it. And then I think I kept scrolling, saw Eli Holstein. He's a stash for me. You just look at his film, 
Look at his size that, that the scouts love, the Tyler Van Dyke, Drew Allar, Josh Allen type guys. I just think it's worth a hold. He is at Pitt now. Uh, I don't think he's going to start. Um, it, they, who's their starter? I'm trying to blank on, on uh, or I'm, I'm blanking on who their starter is or who I expect them to start. It's not Joey Yellen. He's been gone. Um, I can see uh, Yarnell. Yarnell. Nate Yarnell, I think, is who their starter should be. Uh, but Eli, you know, I think he'll be next up. And this was a white to five. Again, transfer jersey, so I'm not super thrilled about it, but just low number that I think you can list that at $9.99 or $19.99 and flip it. And then Donovan Edwards, uh, Michigan fans are crazy. People are obsessed with Donovan Edwards. They think he's a top five back. I think he's not there yet. I think he could be by the end of the year. They're going to need him because they don't have a quarterback. Um, but uh, I don't know. I just feel like I did buy some more Donovan Edwards just because Michigan fans are so passionate about him. I'm just like, all right, shut up. Um, you know, if he's this good, then I'll make money on him. Uh, so Donovan Edwards, all this uh, best stuff. Not a huge best guy. I don't typically buy it. I like the first and the significance it carries, but that's just my preference. Ali Jennings. Uh, so prospecting there, one of my favorite guys. Uh, I guess maybe to collect uh, Jack Sawyer, Mike Hell. So some first round picks. Miller Moss. Uh, we'll see what he does this year. Number one safety in the country. Well, Spencer Rattler. Uh, people are people got really upset in my uh, uh, what did I label the video? Uh, the next boom in the hobby and like the next CJ Stroud in the thumbnail and people got big mad in the comments. Darius Taylor guy I'm prospecting, just collecting my childhood stuff. I guess for my son, Caden Salter, uh, Tyron Lacey, Soresby prospecting and Darius Taylor prospecting my boy Ricky White. So longer video there, trying to stretch out daily content. I don't know where it'll be. I think this gets us to Wednesday, uh, just before the end of May. We'll see. If you enjoyed, if you like the daily content, let me know. Drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.